so I'm editing the video right now and I realized we didn't really explain anything in this video. I mean, I kind of explain what's going on in some parts, but essentially this video was just kind of show you guys like what we do kind of on a day to day and certain things that we do to get around Lauren's condition or just things we have to do. So we recorded um, how we get him up in his bucket. We recorded the ramp system for our truck. We recorded his bandage changes. Um, just kind of give you guys kind of an idea of what like day-to-day -day life is for us. And we also got a couple clips from um, my mom and I taking Lauren to Giant Springs. We bought one of those. It's like a bicycle carriage thing that you can attach the back of bikes uh, for kids. Uh, we got one for Lauren that had a push for it. Um, and we tested it out to see how it did like all terrain and stuff. So that if there's any ever a uh, place that we want to take Lauren that maybe his wheelchair uh, can't make it on. We wanted to see if that would work, which it actually worked pretty well. So that's exciting. Uh, so if we ever want to go kind of more off off roading or all terrain, uh, we have the ability to do so without relying on his power chair. So that was pretty exciting. Uh, but I figured I would just kind of give you guys an explanation of the video because we don't really provide one. So I hope you guys like it. Lauren hopes you like it too. He's passed out right now. As I said, I'm editing it, but Officially trying out this stroller thingy in the sticker, as you can see. And we are down by the river. Not bad. Everyone wants to see the world from Lauren's perspective, but nobody wants to be in Lauren's position. Devin, will you, will you take this off so I have a clear shot? I need a clear shot for my paparazzi.
starters, we take this sock and we put Lawrence and the Frost Me tubes through the back of it. And then he lifts up and I pull the sock down and make sure that his nephrosomy tubes are coming out nice around these holes. Pull it back. Ah, not yet. There you go. Now you go. And then we get this around his ostomy. And pull it up. Just like that. We take his bucket. And so I put it like this. Da -da -da -da. There's holes in the back of his bucket. For parts. Yeah. And I put his nephrostomy tubes through those. Just like with the sock. Just like that. And then he lifts. And we do this little squirm thing. Help him get in it. There we go. And then I make sure that his nephrostomy tubes are coming out of the ports right. I hold while she moves forward. <laughs> and then I kind of hold it in place with my legs. And then we take the top. We put the ostomy through this hole. We take the bottom straps first. Tighten those down. Bottom strap. And we do them zigzag, like diagonal. So we do the bottom straps first, make sure those are nice and snug. And we take the top straps and we make sure that the top of the chest plate is lined up with the top of the um, back. So we kind of got to force that up to make sure that it's nice and tight on him and lined up. Force her up. Just like that. And then I take his nephrostomy bags and I put them inside these little bags on the side that hold them up. Like that. My shirt was totally in the way, but then we just prop him up like that and I pull up his sock. take the straps out of the back and these also go zigzag place for him and help direct him to the seat. There you go. And then he comes back and he centers himself and then he's up and ready for the day. your phone and your water and the fan remote. So he just had a procedure. I got my uh, tubes changed out just yesterday. Yeah, so that's why we're changing the bandages because we have to put his normal bandages on. Yep. Oh, they also switched my uh, ports, my catheter ports, 
from a hard tip to a soft tip. So hopefully the soft tip will feel better in my bucket and when I sleep and when I'm on my side and whatnot. So basically what I'm doing, and this is how I was taught. Um, I know some people do it differently. So don't come at me. This is how I was taught to do it. <laughs> but we take the old bandage off. I clean them up with some Chlora Prep. And then I've got these sponges here. And I cut them to size because the sponges, these drain sponges, are like the best ones to use for his nephrostomies. But they're a bit too t big for his tegaderm tape to fit nice. So once it's cut to size, I tuck it in like this. And I make sure any stitching that isn't in his body goes above it so that it doesn't stab at him. Just like that. And then I take some of the excess stuff that I cut off and I put that above it to kind of hold it more in place. I do that with two of them so that A, his stitches don't poke through the tape and B, to kind of stabilize it a little bit more. And then I take these skin barrier film, no sting wipes. These help, um, like they help keep the tape on his skin but they also keep his skin from getting worn down. It like helps protect his skin from the constant adhesive. So I just do this in a full, the amount that, you know, his tape will be on. And I usually, I have to use two of these. I do one for the top and the side, and then I use another one for the bottom and the side because they only hold so much liquid in them. And I do kind of got to just like gauge how much I think of his body will be under the tape because like you think you know and then you don't know. And then I take this Tegaderm. We use the really big films um, just because I found that those stay on better with the small bandages. Uh, there's more tape to his body so it's a lot more secure. I place it down. I just care about how it looks, I guess. And then I make this slit. I make this slit up the middle because um, with this tape we have to make our own anchor, which just keeps the line from being tugged on. So I make this slit, I bring the cord through and then I tape her down like that. And then I take this Hypofix to anchor it down. I'll take one strand and make a slit. And then I bring it up from the bottom to kind of hold it in place like that. Tape it down. Take another one and I split it down the middle. Take one half of that. Put it on top of where I just anchored that one. And then I just do that one more time with another piece of Hypofix and the second half. Um, and that's just because with how much Lauren moves, these tug a lot so I like to extra anchor them I really like to make sure that they are good and you know stuck in place as much as they can be and I like them extra anchored <laughs> yes and he likes them extra anchored because it's a straight line to his kidney and so when it does get tugged it hurts <laughs> yep 
there's that and then I just kind of put some heat down along the edges with my palms to make sure that the adhesive really sticks to him and that's it for that one and then I do the same thing on the other side 